Welcome aboard our journey into the world of GPT, where words take flight. Today, we'll explore how GPT understands the meaning of words using vectors. I've always been fascinated by the way words connect in our minds, but how do large language models like GPT understand language? Vector databases are the key. Imagine each word as a point in space floating around based on its meaning. When a language model ingests text, like from web pages or databases, from internet forums, for example, patterns start to emerge in the words. Language models are good at identifying and recording these clusters of patterns. Similar words can be clustered together while different words drift apart. It's like a cosmic dance of language. These patterns are stored by large language models as groups of numbers in a vector database. Using these numbers, a vector database is able to store information about the word and about other words that appear next to it in the texts that the model ingests. It uses multiple dimensions to store this information about the related words. When you search for something, the database finds the closest words in this space. It's not just matching letters, but understanding context and relationships. And that's how neural networks can grasp the nuances of human language in milliseconds. This spatial representation of words is revolutionizing how machines process and understand our language, making search engines and AI assistants smarter every day. A word in a vector database is converted to numbers by an encoder. The words apple, orange and fruit are represented by numbers in the vector database. Imagine every word is a city on this map. Words with similar meanings like apple and banana are cities located close to each other. They belong to the same neighborhood called fruit. Words like car are located in another neighborhood. The routes our airplanes take represent vectors. These vectors show the relationship between words. Vectors are groups of numbers that GPT uses to show how close or far away words, like cities, are from each other. Short routes mean the words are closely related, while long routes indicate they're less similar. First of all, what went through my mind is but our world isn't flat. It's multidimensional. In GPT's brain, words exist in a space with many dimensions, much more than three. Each dimension represents a unique feature or characteristic of the words. GPT navigates this complex airspace using these dimensions. Think of each dimension as a gauge in the cockpit, helping GPT understand various aspects of a word's meaning, like its role, context or sentiment. Behind the scenes, a neural network acts like air traffic control, managing all these flight paths. It processes the vectors, ensuring each word reaches its correct destination in meaning and context. When GPT encounters a word with multiple meanings, like bank, it uses vectors to determine the correct city based on context. Is it the financial bank near money and finance or the river bank near river and stream? Sometimes we need to update our flight plans. Through prompt engineering or fine tuning, 
we adjust the vectors, like adding new roots or changing existing ones, so GPT can understand new concepts or contexts. GPT's airspace is always expanding. It continuously learns and adapts, just like an airline adding new destinations to meet travelers' needs. So next time you wonder how GPT understands language, remember the airplanes and cities. Through vectors in a multi-dimensional space, GPT navigates the complex world of words, bringing meaning and context together seamlessly. Thank you for joining us on this flight. Keep exploring, and who knows where words will take you next.